The pocket colposcope is a digital colposcope intended for gynecological examination with a traditional vaginal speculum. It is intended to be used only by trained and qualified personnel in hospitals, clinics, and private offices and is not intended for home use. The pocket colposcope has a blue handpiece which the provider grips and a white part which inserts into the vagina called the probe. The submersion line is the border between these two parts. The wire at the end is a USB cord which can connect to a computer or with the proper adapter to a tablet or phone. The connected device serves as the power source for the pocket colposcope and can run a Windows, OS X, or Linux operating system. At the opposite end is the camera, which takes photos of the patient's cervix. The main controls consist of a light toggle button, which adjusts the light settings by the camera, a magnification slider, which adjusts the zoom, and a shutter button, which can be used to capture an image if you have the latest version of the pocket colposcope software. Pressing the light toggle button once turns on the normal light. Pressing again makes the light brighter. Pressing a third time turns on the green LED light. And finally, pressing a fourth time turns the light back off. If the pocket colposcope is disconnected from the power source during use, the light will turn off, and after plugging the USB back in, the light setting must be readjusted using the light toggle button. By sliding the magnification slider backwards away from the patient, the image can be zoomed in. Adjustments to the zoom setting should be done gently and will also require an adjustment to the position of the pocket colposcope itself to regain proper focus. To get started, you'll just need the pocket colposcope and a device with a Windows, OS X, or Linux operating system that has the pocket colposcope software. Prior to use with the patient, ensure the device has been properly reprocessed. If cold sterile water was used to rinse the probe, allow it to return to room temperature before proceeding. Examine it for signs of damage, wear, or abrasion. Verify that no parts are missing or loose. If the pocket colposcope appears damaged or malfunctioning, discontinue use and contact Hadley Health Technologies. Before using the device, your computer or tablet must have the pocket colposcope software installed. After installing the software, navigate to the program on the computer and double-click to launch. Plug the pocket colposcope USB connector into the USB port or adapter and ensure the device is fully plugged in. Click Start Exam on your computer. A connection confirmation message in the camera control panel should appear. If the message says, Pocket Colposcope Disconnected Plug-in USB Cable, Plug the USB back in and then click the refresh button. You are now ready to begin a clinical exam with the pocket colposcope. To perform an exam, you will need the pocket colposcope and a compatible device. A plastic cover to put over the probe is optional but in many cases used. Then, as in a regular exam, the speculum, acetic acid, and Lugol's iodine will also be used. Place a clear plastic cover over the pocket colposcope to reduce contamination during the procedure. Following proper clinical protocol, prepare the patient. When used for examination of the cervix, the pocket colposcope should be used with a standard vaginal speculum. If clinical protocol requires time used of acetic acid, press the start button immediately after acetic acid application. To stop the timer, press the stop button. To reset the timer back to zero, press the reset button. Insert the probe. Slide the probe tip through the speculum, aligning the handle control strip to the 12 o'clock orientation. Use the live video to avoid touching the vaginal walls or cervix with the probe. If the tip contacts tissue or if the image appears hazy or foggy, remove the probe and gently wipe clean with a sterile cloth or swab before reinsertion. Slide the probe along the speculum until the probe tip is approximately 3 centimeters, or 1 inch from the cervix. Adjust the probe to ensure that the whole cervix is visible, and press the light toggle button if necessary to adjust the light settings. Capture images by pressing the camera button in the camera control panel on the software, or, if you have the latest version of the software, by using the shutter button on the pocket colposcope. By switching the light settings and again pressing the camera button, different types of images can be captured.
Begin with the magnification slider forward in the zoomed out position. For a close up image, move the probe closer to the cervix and slide the focus slider backwards until the desired magnification is achieved and the image is in focus. The key to capturing successfully magnified images is to move the magnification slider gently. As more images are captured, previews of each will appear with the most recent image collected on top. By dragging the scroll bar to the right of these images down, all previously captured images from this exam can be viewed. Slide the focus slider back to recapture the entire cervix. At the end of a procedure, click the Review Images button to see a collection of all the images that were taken during a session. Then, under the Exam Notes section, you may enter information about the patient to tie these images to that patient. Remove the pocket colposcope from the speculum and press the light toggle button until the LEDs turn off. To clean the cord and handle of the pocket colposcope, you will need an enzymatic detergent like Enzol, sterile water, and Cydex OPA. You will also need lint-free cloths. Inspect the cord and handle for visible soil. If there is no soil present on the handle or cord, you can move on to the next step in the process and begin preparing Cydex OPA. However, if visible soil is present, you will prepare an enzymatic detergent. If there's visible soil, prepare an enzymatic detergent like Enzol according to the manufacturer's instructions. Evenly dampen a clean, lint-free cloth with the enzymatic detergent and thoroughly wipe down all surfaces on the cord and handle. Pay special attention to the crevices around the buttons and the focus slider. Then evenly dampen a clean, lint-free cloth with sterile water. Wipe the cord and handle. While you are cleaning the device, avoid letting liquid pool on the cord or the handle. If there was no visible soil on the device, or if you have finished cleaning visible soil using an enzymatic detergent, you should prepare Cydex OPA according to manufacturer instructions. Evenly dampen a clean, lint-free cloth with Cydex OPA. Wipe all surfaces of the cord and handle. Again, pay attention to the crevices around the control strip and the focus slider. To clean the probe of the pocket colposcope, you will need an enzymatic detergent such as Enzol and a soaking container. You will then need sterile water. Then Cydex OPA, a thermometer, and a soaking container will be required. At the end, sterile water, a lint-free cloth, a clean cloth, and a sterile container will be used. Prepare an enzymatic detergent such as Enzol, Biozyme, Clenzyme, Mertazyme, or Empower, according to manufacturer's instructions. Fill a soaking container with the enzymatic detergent up to the appropriate level so that when the probe is inserted, the fluid will rise to, but not above, the submersion line on the probe. Rinse and gently scrub the probe with a clean, lint-free cloth under running water until visible soil is removed. Insert the probe into the enzymatic detergent and agitate to remove any air bubbles on the outside of the probe. Allow the probe to soak for two minutes. Rinse the probe three times with sterile water. Refer to the manufacturer's instruction for use for information about reusing Cydex OPA. Fill a soaking container with Cydex OPA up to the appropriate level. At 20 degrees Celsius or higher, immerse the device completely in the Cydex OPA, agitating it first, and then let it soak for 12 minutes. Thoroughly rinse the probe with sterile water three times. Dry the device using a clean, lint-free cloth. After drying, wrap the pocket colposcope in cloth, ensuring that the cord does not come into contact with the probe itself. Then place the pocket in a sterile container where it will remain until its next clinical use. In the event that the probe tip contacts tissue or the image appears hazy, remove the probe and gently wipe the tip clean with a sterile cloth or swab. If cleaning the probe tip does not improve the image quality, contact Hadley Health Technologies. If both the green and the white lights are on at the same time, press the light toggle button until the lights turn off and then return the lights to the desired setting. If the problem persists, call Hadley Health Technologies.
When starting an exam, if the message says pocket colposcope disconnected plug in USB cable, unplug and then replug the USB cord before pressing the refresh button. The pocket colposcope should be reconnected, but if not, please contact Hadley Health Technologies. Magnifying the image with the focus slider may take some practice. Try moving the focus slider gently, and remember to adjust the position of the pocket colposcope itself in addition to shifting the image slider. The pocket colposcope is capable of capturing very high quality images, but to do so it must be focused properly. This image was taken using improper focusing technique. But this image of the same cervix was taken by properly using the focus slider and holding the device steady so that the autofocus features could function smoothly. Use the model cervix as a target to practice focusing the image gathered by the pocket colposcope. If you are still unable to collect a focused image and it appears as though the pocket colposcope is malfunctioning, contact Hadley Health Technologies.